Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Opscaler. And, uh, I just want to show you how Forza Horizon 3 looks on the PC on this Dell 27 inch, 144 hertz, 2.5K monitor. As you can see, it's running at steady 60 frames per second. And there's barely any input lag, as you can see right here. Uh, none. The input lag doesn't exist here. It's like one point. It's like one millisecond, honestly. And it's just like smooth. But. The whole point of this video is going to be to test and see the difference between this monitor and then the LG monitor. So I'm going to kind of put both of these uh, monitors to test in terms of quality. Let's see what sort of quality am I getting here. And then we're going to check and see what sort of quality am I going to be getting on the, uh, the LG monitor. So I'm going to keep it like here really quick and then I'm gonna switch to an LG monitor really quick in about one second now obviously here we are on the LG the one thing that you will notice is that higher resolution the native 4k resolution obviously plays a major role major factor on the LG monitor so yeah I mean if you have it at the native 4k it's gonna look a bit better it's gonna look a bit more cleaner okay and also the IPS panel with a free sync gives you a little bit better color you know the color pops a little bit better on the LG that's the first thing I notice alright so so let's keep it like this and then let me switch it back to a uh, Dell monitor. Let me switch it back to Dell. I'm, I'm trying to find a good like, what's the good like position like right here. Now I'm gonna switch to a uh, Dell monitor. Let me switch to Dell monitor really quick. All right, so here we are now on a Dell monitor. Now, granted, uh, Dell monitor has that TN panel, but for a TN panel, it still looks pretty good. You know, it still has a vibrant color. But it's just that that you know native 4k on the IPS it just it's it's a high it's a 2000 extra pixels so of course it's gonna look better on a extra 2000 pi pixels which is 4000 uh, which is 25 uh, 3840 by 2160 uh, it's gonna look much better obviously on, on a native 4k however it's still not bad here either I mean uh, All I'm trying to say, it looks pretty good for a TN, TN uh, panel. This is really an excellent quality for a TN panel. All right, and of course, the one main reason why this monitor is so uh, highly praised by some people, it's because of the uh, quick response time, G-Sync, and 144 hertz, obviously. However, the other monitor has the FreeSync IPS uh, 5 millisecond response time and, uh, of course, native 4K, which adds to the uh, experience. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch again to a uh, LG monitor, and let me see just uh, how well does the... Uh, how is the response time? Maybe we can do it like this. Uh, I'll I'll do this. I'll drive it like this, and then uh, I'm gonna switch back. I'm gonna go to uh, the other monitor while we do this, like in about one, two, three, four. Okay, so here we are in the LG monitor. I mean. You do notice it, you do notice a little bit, a little bit of, of a delay. Not much, but just a little bit. 
because it's a native 4K, high resolution, uh, you know, has a five millisecond response time. But still, uh, the ideal here is that you're getting a high resolution with a little bit better quality because you're now we are using a uh, IPS panel. All right. Now I'm not gonna lie. Sure, IPS panel looks much better in terms of color. It gives you a much better color. You know, in terms of color, it's gonna look very good. But uh, you will lose that response time a little bit on this monitor. You know, it's not gonna be as smooth buttery as it is on the uh, the Dell monitor. That's what I'm trying to say, you know. It's not going to be buttery smooth. It looks great, but I don't expect it to be buttery smooth. I mean, it looks gorgeous. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks gorgeous. It really does. Especially, like, when you get to the, like, uh, dark areas right here where there's a the light. It definitely does. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch to 2.5K. This is 4K, and I'm gonna switch to 2.5K QHD Dell monitor. So let's do it in about three seconds. One, two, three. All right, so here we are now on uh, Dell, Dell monitor, and um, you know, the one thing I've noticed on the Dell is just that seamless, you know, one millisecond response time. It's just, it just feels smoother. But look, this monitor was created to be smoother and faster, okay? The other one was created more for a picture quality, okay? For picture quality and the... Um, that five millisecond response time, which is excellent for a 4K five millisecond response time, it's it's pretty good. You also keep in mind once you connect uh, this LG the, the the LG monitor, not this one, but the LG monitor. Once you connect it to a AMD GPU, you're gonna get that free sync, and with free sync, man, you're gonna be rolling like super smooth refresh rate. We're talking like a smooth refresh rate. But look, even for a TN panel, this looks good. It's look, TN panel, it's not as vibrant in colors as, uh, you know, IPS, but it's still pretty good for this monitor, all right? And in terms of graphics, I truly believe this is something like this we're going to be seeing on. Uh, on Xbox Scorpio for sure there's no question about that we're gonna be seeing something like this on Scorpio this kind of graphics easily will be seen look at this man it's a blizzard now it's total blizzard can't see shit now <laughs> look at that wow it, look, it's, st it's steady 60 FPS here. Let me show you guys. It's a steady 60 FPS. I don't know if you guys can see it in the corner right there. It's a steady 60 FPS right there in the corner. I don't know if you guys can see it. See a little bit better. There you have it. S steady 60 FPS, man. All right, so there you have it, guys. Hopefully uh, you like this video. What I was trying to show you here, the difference between these two monitors. And remember, it all comes down to what is it that you're looking for. When it comes to buying a monitor, you got to ask yourself, for well, what purposes and what is it that you're looking for? Are you looking for gaming? Well, then you got to have that balance of response time, good refresh rate, and, of course, a good resolution as well. All right, so there you go. A short little video. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Thank you for watching. Mr. Forky Upscaler out.